Greetings, YouTube. I want to shout out Adam Rob and Mark Z once again. I uh, recently broadcast a live stream to open my first ever seven star, and I wanted Domino more than anything else, but of course, I didn't expect to get Domino at all in the crystals I'll be opening this week, and particularly not uh, on my first seven star. But you are staring at a seven star Domino, and I'm definitely going to do some gameplay with her very soon, but. Uh, she starts out, let's, because I, I do have a rank four domino. Let's just see. The health is 39,000. The attack is 5,600, 39,000, And we're going to compare that to... Forty-three thousand and sixty-two hundred. So the rank four. Now, of course, this hasn't had any ISO into her either. The rank four is, uh, well, it's slightly more powerful than the rank one, but haven't upgraded her yet. I'll do that in a separate video. But for now, I am going to start by spending two thousand units. On Paragon Crystals. And the seven stars, I don't know how to, they should make them small. The seven stars are so big, they're they're coming off the margins in this. It almost looks like it's, it's fake. All right. First ever Paragon Crystal. And I think it's a ripoff to purchase them uh, in the cash store if you can afford it. Another, so whenever you open a Paragon Crystal, like a a firework goes off in the top left. And same for a six star, or seven star Crystal, excuse me. That's pretty cool. Now, 50% chance for four stars, but at least there are no three stars. That's going to help with ISO and gold. If nothing else, we're going to tap it here. Our first ever Paragon Crystal. So glad they kept them at 200 units. Huge W for the community. Now, I don't think you can get... A Nexus Crystal out of this? I didn't see them. Uh, I also tapped it, y'all. And what do you know? Um, as I hide my webcam, I don't know if the server is allowing us to actually see what's going on. It's frozen. There we go. That was a long wait. A very long wait. All for a five-star gore. Okay, so... We're going to count how many of each we get. One five star is a great start. And he is now awakened. Didn't know I didn't awaken him. All right, so one for one in five stars. That would normally be amazing. But for Paragon Crystals, it's just like, okay. Um, let's put the second crystal. I love that firework. I don't know why. It's just... Uh, just kind of cool. All right, let's tap this one and see if it actually slows down this time. There we go. Much better. And a six-star Doctor Doom. These crystals are insane. Just a casual six-star Doctor Doom. No worries in a Paragon Crystal. Paragon Crystals are nuts. And in, in my head, it's like, oh my gosh, I just got a six-star Doctor Doom. But... Now, in the reality, it's like, well, still not a seven star, which, I mean, who cares? If you were able to get a six star Dr. Doom, finally, like, let's say you've been hunting him for years, for 200 units, that's just nuts. Paragon crystals are insane. All right. Let's tap the third one. A five star gore, a six star Dr. Doom in the first two. Now, I did get the best luck I've ever had in regular Cavalier crystals when they first came out. So maybe that's the case here. Back to back six stars. I've never done that. And that is the hood. And that is another 20 sigs. I'm getting seven star shards right and left. No wonder why they increase the price in that crystal normally. Um, all right. I have only done back to back six stars once. And ironically, it was the first day that Cavalier Crystals came out. I do believe this is the Taco Bell effect, as I like to call it on my channel. Where maybe, if it's like Cavalier Crystals, you'll get super hooked. And you'll get an insane amount of 6 stars. Maybe even a 7 star or 2. 
And then you'll keep opening them and the drop rates will plummet because they got you hooked. And then they flip the switch. I would not put it past Kabam. Okay, we just tapped it. Back-to-back -back six stars. Hood and Dr. Doom. In Paragon Crystals. We got a five star and two six stars in the first three. And again, I'm tapping it, but it is uh, slow to react because the servers cannot keep up with the demand. I'm sure. That's it. I have also, for this video, disconnected my um, Wi-Fi. Five star? Okay, what's up, six star Scorpion? Two five stars and two six stars for 800 units. I have been so blessed that we have not seen even a four star yet. All right, so that is a double stuff Oreo of five and six stars. It was five, six star, six star, five star. Also, I want to give a shout out to the uh, live stream, which had like six to 700 people watching my first seven star. And yes, Domino is going to be wild. I can't wait to test her out. All right, so I just purchased another crystal. And, of course, now the game is really, really stalling. Um, I worry that with this speed, they're actually going to have to do an emergency maintenance today. Because, of course, when Kabam introduces something groundbreaking into the game, it's got to run like hamsters are dying on the wheel. Or maybe not dying, but at least uh, can't run anymore. They're tired. They need some rest. And if... Uh, if this continues, I'm going to give it a few more seconds. I'm actually going to have to restart the game. And then what I'll do is I'll just pop five. We'll spin five and pop five and compare. Um, but I've got to restart the game because it is frozen. That is twice that it actually took forever to have the crystal stop or it just wouldn't let me purchase it immediately. I mean, no matter what... Like, let's say the game went to emergency maintenance right now because maybe they're giving away too many six stars. Maybe the uh, the drop rates for six stars are actually wrong. They're they're going better for players than intended. That wouldn't surprise me right now with a 50% drop rate. I was at 66% drop rate for six stars through three crystals. That just doesn't happen. That does, that's, that's just unheard of. But... Um, For the moment, the game is just not letting me log in. So, might have to uh, open the second batch. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, the second batch. Y'all, this is working like dial-up internet speeds. And that's saying something. Okay, so, the question is, did it record the purchase? It did. It actually recorded the purchase. All right, two five stars, two six stars. We will pop a thousand worth of units after this to compare. We tapped it. It actually loaded a couple of six stars and our first four star. Okay, so one four star, two five stars, and of course two six stars, including Dr. Doom in the first five. Can we get our first ever 7 star? We shall find out. Remember, like I said, it appears that there are no Nexus crystals in these. Just 4, 5, 6, and 7 star champions. Okay. We are going to purchase 1,000 units more. I just hit the 5. There you go. And we're going to back out our lucky 4 times. 2. Can we beat 2 6 stars? I doubt it. But even if we get no six stars in this batch of five, uh, that'll still be better than the listed drop rates for six stars, which allegedly were supposed to be 8%, and right now they're 40%. All right, we're going to pop on four. One, two, three. Team pop for the win on our prop box. Can we get more six stars, our first seven star? Is anything going to say new? Because that gets real exciting, too. No matter what, these crystals are insane. Well, of course, if the server was going to lag with one crystal, it was going to lag with five. Uh, if you want to know what it looks like right now, I have hit open five crystals, and the server is, of course, delayed. But we are not going to restart the game on this. We're going to 
Wait for as long as it'll take. Thank God I'm only opening 10. Because this could have been a 20 minute video thanks to server lag. They look cool. I love the fireworks that pop up in the top left. Seriously awesome. But I feel like the servers are not prepared for these crystals. They're not prepared for the amount of stars from each champion. Even the real visually looks like it's some kind of messed up visual glitch. Oh, please don't say I'm going to have to restart. We got back-to-back -back six stars, broke the game, and now there's just no turning back. I really don't want to have to go to the Alliance Info tab to figure out who I got these, especially imagine if it was my first ever seven star in one of these, and I missed the moment because the crystal refused to open. And who cares? Because we were forced to restart the game regardless of how long we waited. YouTube, I wish I could say that I had control over this outcome, but I certainly don't. I guess we can look at the crystal info tab or the alliance info tab. I also hope that means that, uh, well, we'll find out if there are any new champions when we log into the game. But I hope that means that the results are actually going to, to visually show us what happened. All right. I don't see any new champions. I see Cavalier Crystal Info. Okay, Paragon. I see Wolverine. Oh, one of my Alliance mates got a 7-star Storm P90X. But the question is, did the crystals actually open? Let's scroll down. No! Okay. We're just going to go straight for them and try the open five again. Please let us open the five. I am not going to make this video go longer than this. Y'all, I've tried so hard. I don't know what else to do. If it's just only letting you, um, if it's only letting you open one at a time without crashing the server, if it makes me restart, I'll just do a part two to where we're not having a 15 minute video. When we are allowed to open these things, they're insane. When we're allowed to open them, keywords, when we're allowed to, but I think, I think the game's just broken right now. Paragon crystals are literally breaking the game. Um, all right, we're, we're going to wait. And then I'll have to open them individually in part two. There'll be a part one and a part two. And I apologize to everybody who's waiting for this to appear. I just can't force it to. And I want to get this video on YouTube as soon as possible. Well, the, the drop rates so far are two six stars, a four star, and two five stars. And congrats to my alliance mates who got seven stars. You can just imagine how many people are opening Paragon and Crystals right now. It's got to set some kind of MCOC record, you know? Um, all right, well, I will uh, can't wait to do seven-star domino gameplay. And I will be uh, showcasing these crystals off in part two. Stay tuned as we just got disconnected. Once again, don't try this at home, kids.